Connecticut's power companies are keeping a close eye on the weather heading our way and are ready to respond to any potential outages. Frank Pyro from Eversource joining us live over Zoom. Frank, if only the folks down in Texas were as prepared as we are, what are you guys doing right now for the weather coming our way? Well, we've secured an additional uh, several hundred line and tree crews to assist the uh, Eversource staff that's already out in the field. And uh, uh, we're watching, uh, as you folks are, the weather very closely. We expect the Northwest Hills in northern Fairfield County to be an area of special concern. Uh, yet we have people spread out all over the state to take care of any, uh, any trouble spots that might pop up after this storm. Frank, looking specifically at this forecast, which Rachel's been tracking uh, this hour and, and will next hour as well, we've had some storms that were snowstorms in the month of February. February's been busy for you guys, I'm sure. The one that we're dealing with this time isn't so much snow, but rather ice. How does that change when it comes to preparing, treating, and then getting to customers as opposed to a snowstorm? Well, the, uh, the we've we've been sort of blessed with the snow snowstorms received this year and late last year in that they were dry and uh, they, they they brought very uh, light light winds comparatively. Uh, the issue with, a, with an ice storm is that it accumulates on trees, limbs, and ultimately our equipment. Uh, and the ice weighs down these limbs, brings them down on top of our equipment, um, in worst case scenarios, it brings trees down across the roads, which slows our ability to get to a trouble spot. So it all adds a layer of complexity, but every storm is different. Frank, let's but say I'm this, sitting at- This is what- Yeah, let's say I'm sitting at home though right now in Litchfield, and you just mentioned the Northwest Hills are gonna be a target area. What do I need to do to make sure that my home is prepared for the next 24 to 48 hours? First of all, uh, charge up all your mobile devices. Uh, make sure your storm kit is up to date with uh, non-perishable food items, uh, extra water, uh, your um, medication, things that you might need in order to sustain yourself over one or two days. Uh, during the storm, if you hear or see any lines that are brought down, report them to 911 and please stay away from them. A, a minimum of 10 feet. Uh, also, stay away from the trees that might be tangled up in them because they can conduct electricity in uh, in a way as well. Uh, and that's basically it. If you rely on an, an auxiliary generator, make sure it's uh, in tip-top shape, uh, fueled up and ready to go. When you do run it, please run it outdoors. Um, have it connected to your house system by a special switch that was provided or installed by a licensed electrician. Crucial. All right, safety first. Frank Pyro from Eversource. Frank, thank you so much. You're very welcome. And our team of meteorologists will continue to track this storm tonight into tomorrow morning. It's going to be busy. Tune in for live coverage throughout the Fox 61 Morning News starting at 4 a.m.